Hey guys, welcome to the Made Musings podcast. The show where we talk about different issues, disabilities, and limitations that affect people's emotional, psychological, physical, and mental health and well being. We hope to be able to debunk some of the maids and stigmas surrounding the limitations that we will be discussing and i hope you enjoy listening to our podcast i'd like to start by saying a big thank you to all our listeners who have been sending us messages via the message link thank you to everyone who has also given us feedback we are still available on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, TuneIn and Alexa, YouTube, Stitcher, Deezer, Pocketcast, Overcast, Tumblr, Breaker, iHeart Radio, Radio Public, Listen Notes, Twitter, and Facebook. Facebook page is Mid Musings, Twitter Mid Musings. Just search for the Mid Musings podcast on any of the social media platforms. Today, we will be looking at male infertility, as this is fast becoming a common occurrence. Male infertility refers to a situation where a man is unable to get a fertile female pregnant. It affects about 7% of all men and approximately 40 to 50% of all infertility cases are attributable to male infertility. Over the last five decades, there has been an increase in male infertility due to changes in lifestyle and consequent reduction in sperm quality and quantity and also increased rates of obesity. In order to understand male infertility, it is necessary to carry out a series of tests starting with an analysis of the man's sperm. This is known as semen analysis. There are a few parameters used as basis for the sperm analysis. First is the sperm count. Sperm count is a measure of the number of spermatozoa per ejaculation or per measured amount of semen. Normal sperm count ranges between 40 and 300 million sperm per ml. Whilst anything above 300 sperm per ml is considered high sperm count. However, low sperm count ranges from 15 million sperm per ml to 10 million sperm per ml and below. The next parameter used in semen analysis is the total semen volume. As the title suggests, the total semen volume measures the quantity of semen a male ejaculates. Typically, this should be between 2 to 5 ml of semen. Anything less or more than this is abnormal 
Where spam volume is excessive, the spam concentration may be too diluted. This means there is a decreased chance that the spam will be able to reach the egg for fertilization. The next parameter to test for in spam analysis is liquefaction. Sperm liquefaction measures the ability of semen to change from its natural gel form to liquid. If the sperm does not liquefy in about 15 to 20 minutes, the sperm may not be able to adequately travel to fertilize an egg. Next parameter is sperm velocity. This measures how fast sperm travels to the ovum and should be between 1 to 4 mucous motility per minute. Whilst sperm motility refers to how well the sperm can swim to fertilize an egg. Next parameter in Spam analysis is the morphology. Morphology measures the percentage of sperm that appear normal when semen is viewed under a microscope. Normal sperm have an overhead with a long tail, but abnormal sperm have crooked or double tail. Fertility level is therefore dependent on the shape of the sperm. The more abnormal a sperm shape is, the higher the rate of infertility. The last parameter in semen analysis is the sperm pH. Sperm pH is a measurement of how acidic or basic the sperm is. The average pH of a semen ranges from 7.2 to 7.8. Anything higher than a pH of 7.8 could indicate an infection, whilst anything lower than a pH of 7.2 could indicate that the sample is either contaminated or that there is an obstruction in the reproductive system. Symptoms of infertility in men include inability to produce semen, which is abnormal. Second is difficulty in ejaculation. There are several factors that can affect how a man ejaculates. When a man cannot get his penis to stay erect long enough to have sex. This is also known as erectile dysfunction and is more common in men who are 60 years or older. Second is an abnormality in the level of testosterone, the male sex hormone involved in making sperm. Next, I am going to talk about causes of infertility in men. The leading cause of infertility in men is constant and excessive use of technology like computers, exposure of testicles to heat and chemical radiation from computers and mobile phones, has an adverse effect on fertility 
for men. In order to boost fertility, men should avoid saunas, hot tubs, and minimize the use of laptops, especially placing the laptops on their knees whilst working on it. Other factors that cause infertility and are directly linked with the testicles are an infection or injury to the testicles, testicular cancer or surgery, and congenital defects in the testicles when one or both testicles has not descended into the scrotum. Other causes of infertility in men include consumption of alcohol and illegal drugs, long-term use of some medications such as anabolic steroids, which are often used to build muscle and improve athletic performance, can reduce sperm count and sperm mobility. Moreover, the excessive consumption of alcohol and the use of some drugs in chemotherapy treatment for cancer also affect sperm production adversely. Infertility in men can lead to feelings of inadequacy, increased stress levels, low self-esteem, lack of morale, anxiety, depression, and in very extreme cases, suicidal thoughts, especially in cases where men are stigmatized if they do not recreate their generation or continue their lineage through reproduction. If you start experiencing stress, anxiety, depression, or suicidal thoughts, please speak to your family doctor or your mental health advisor for counseling and support. All discussions with them are strictly confidential. In our next episode, we will be looking at options available for you when living with infertility, either as a man or as a woman. I am passionate about the health and well-being of our listeners. So keep listening, keep sharing, keep downloading and keep liking. Thank you.